Don't you just love all the farts? Where are they even farting from? I think they're farting from the freaking barbershop there. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Oh man, there's there's still a lot to do. We aren't we aren't a complete city yet. And as I've been thinking, as I've been pondering, I think this smithy and this smithy they need to move. I think they need to go to the other half of the city. Somewhere over here, maybe. Or maybe somewhere over here. Probably over here. But the reason I'm thinking about that is because there is not enough housing over here for all these people to work. And I need a lot more Cyclon. I need a lot more. And I have room for quite a few workers. So the goal is to actually extend the housing here over a bit. I'll add a double lane road so this is kind of symmetrical looking. And it, they'll go to about here. I'm probably going to actually even move the mason and the carpenter. And take their businesses out of the mountain. On that subject, we also have... Oh wow, I should have done a pan over of all this stuff here. Look at that. What about the farts too? Stone, iron, coal, fabrics, paper, clothing, everything a good boy needs to grow. And we're exporting and we're importing everything. We got tons of meat being exported, weapons, armor, cotton. We've got gems and jewels, oh, sorry, just jewelry. Look at how much jewelry is going up. That's 255 jewelry. This guy is going to fill his entire caravan up with jewels and buy it off us. Same with some bows. We're selling the excess bows. Uh, we don't need as many guys, so we're really not making as many. And the housing over here is good. I'm not, I'm not too concerned about housing for these people. And I'm not too concerned about how this area looks right now. As it's kind of the off side of the map. This area is my last concern. We don't need any of these buildings. The machine shop, the smithy, everybody can go. So that's that's gonna be a major concern. And I was gonna also remind you guys, we have one more key coming out for this month. For this month. There's gonna be another one coming out close to December near Christmas. So pay attention. Anyways, I will see you guys in a moment. All right, we've got a massive battle. I've got a lot of work to do to set these guys up in an adequate formation. And when I get there, I will be right back.
That was the end of their fucking army. That's what you get for posting up a big ass army near me. I'm trying to act like you're gonna do something with it. We got like 380 guys fighting in this forest here. Charge! Mop them up. The mercs did their jobs. Are you telling me these catapults are still alive? Are you fucking serious? Kill them. Too many dead bodies on screen to even down them all. Look at all those houses. Oh, sorry, my throat. Sometimes I don't talk for a couple hours when I'm doing this. Or rather, I don't talk at all. I'm just sitting here. 
Oh man, we did talk a little tiny bit when I attacked Leomadia and I beat their army up. Then they sent the secondary army up from the north here to fight me. Uh, we lost 500 or so guys. These are our untrained soldiers. Uh, and they did exceptionally well. We captured this town back, um, you know, after the band. We've captured this place, Lemon Door. We haven't changed the name. Lemadia and Star Knight. Star Gent. Whatever you want to call it. Star Gent. And we've got a lot of taxes coming in. I have taxed every single region because I've realized that highways allow you to get a proximity bonus for your global proximity. So people who are far away, if they have a highway, will have enough access to the highway that you can actually tax them pretty good. I've got them taxed around 200 each. Um, I have 29 kingdoms or regions, so that's pretty good. Um, these guys, they were they dropped down a little bit. Yeet Town, uh, I never really paid attention to it when I captured it. And a few of these other towns, they, they're just working on getting up there. But the main issue that we're facing currently is admin points. So if you have too many highways, you don't have enough admin. So we're at 5.6k in our Dundarians. God dang it, man. Why are you guys always so unhappy? This is how I keep my Dundarians happy. I give them big payouts like this. So if I go speed it up a little bit, there you go. That payout will help them out a little bit and then we'll do another couple ones. That keeps them happy. I don't really know why they're unhappy. Their services are great. Tables, I really can't get up there. Meals will fix in the next one, but baths are up there. They have great environment. They have their building preference, climate, etc., etc. Their occupations are up. They have great retirement age. The government, the only thing I don't do is pardon people because it's kind of a tedious task and I wish you could automate pardons for people. Um, probably, why don't we do this? We'll give them access to all of the things they like in the city and hope that that makes them happier because they are the least happy people in my city at a constant rate um, next to the Lapis. But you know, it could honestly be because they hate each other. That, that could be a strong portion of it. You can see that at full speed though, this area is just very, very tanky. We have 223 miners here and 200 or 171 miners here, making about 71 Scythalon per day. Um, we sacrifice 72. That's not good, because it takes 36 here, and the other one's the same, so it's going to take 36 there as well. But, and we've also got a degrading building here. So let's put a, another gender. Although, what is your major malfunction? I think that the issue is that this guy just doesn't have, yeah, he doesn't have machine parts. Oh. Well, that's not good. Give him machine parts and have him go get that. But our city is doing great. We have one smithy, two smithy, three smithies. One making tools, one making weapons, and one making armor. We have a giant bakery over here. We removed the bakery on the other side of the city. It's saying that the storage inside is stalled. It's not. I don't understand why it says that half the time, but it's not. It's got bread being transported from here to here. They're filling this warehouse up. Should be, yep. And then we've got this warehouse here, which is full most of the time. Probably drop off like a couple dozen workers. And we cleaned out the staff of the city. So everything that was over here was gone. I just left the janitor over here in a little uh, warehouse so that he can keep this road up kept. We have our slaver who I did not build in here, so he's he's uh, getting rid of all the Amevians because the Amevians kept getting added to our population. They were in jail for so long, and then they just kept getting added to the population. So it's kind of annoying. And this is how you have to pardon people. You have to literally go and click on like people's heads by race and pardon them and i don't want to pardon too many telapis i'd rather pardon people like humans or dundarians 
whatever little part of Buffalo, a couple of people, whatever. So that way that gets their their law up there. Then we also have our Capitol building, which I added some nice stone roads to the front of. This side is the same, but we added a bunch more houses and a little bit of an extension to the wall. And I built this huge road, or not huge, but long ass road to here, because this is where our trade transport is coming from. So we're gonna have to cap off the back of our castle at some point, but I'm very happy with the way the city is organized. We have huge areas for housing in here, here, and here. Well, we have our industries kind of tucked in here, and we have some export industry based off of like, you know, these warehouses. And then we also are gonna have to remove this and this, and that will be the final pieces of what we need to do. We'll probably put the carpenter right here, and we'll put the mason right above him. He's close to where he needs to be. Put more houses in here, and that should be good for housing. I really don't think I'll need more. I bought 500 slaves in one go. Oh, look at that. These Donarians actually put some furniture in their house, and they put some other stuff in there too. That's good. I like to see it. I like to see it. Uh, but other than that, our cities are doing great. Our regions are doing great. Everything, everything is as it should be. And my goal now is to beat up this group of people. They they were our ally, Korgensky here. I, I don't know what happened. They they said they something they didn't want to work with us or they didn't want to be our ally anymore. So now I'm gonna go over there and I beat their army up too. But in order to do that, I'm trying to train up these last couple hundred uh, Talapi Bowmen. We got 74% on these guys and 68% on those guys. Then we'll send them out to our homeboys, where we've got 1,300 well-trained homeboys, and a thousand of which are Dundarians, and we're gonna get probably some human regiments, maybe some other regiments, because we've got 972 free workers, and I, my goal is to have them all be slaves, or everyone who's doing a job be a slave. Minus Dundarians, who are very good at what their job is. So you rather not have slaves doing this job, especially if they're Carthimis. But we are very close, very, very close to our goal of Emperor. Once we get Emperor, our administration just boosts up, and I think that you can literally just conquer the entire map. Right now, I'm capped. I can't really um, capture anybody. So if anything, I'm going to establish uh, proxy states. And I'm just going to have tons of little proxy states throughout the regions so that we can uh, go back and beat them up later. They can't really get too much power. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it seems like these episodes are really short. I'm actually spending tons of time in them. So I hope you appreciate. I hope you enjoy. Not really appreciate, but I just hope you enjoy. If people don't appreciate, that's fine. And I also forgot to mention um, the key... First of all, that's the most important part. Make sure you check the end of the video for the key. And a commenter asked me why I build my buildings like this. So if I was to look, it's got uh, degradation 0%. The isolation of this building does not matter. It really doesn't have any effect except for on houses. So if I was to click on this here. All right should be able to click on one of these houses. Why am I not able to? Or maybe you can't anymore, but you, you, houses are more affected by isolation. Oh, there we go at the bottom, 60%. And they're at 60% because they've got a house on either side of them. Or actually, oh, it's because the janitor is right next to them. So these houses are technically all 100% isolation. But if you look, there's no option for isolation on workplaces, or similar things, it's only for houses. So the guy who was asking me about it, I just didn't really comment what he was saying because he wasn't really uh, was concerned about why I didn't put walls. And I think that that's kind of misconstrued. I, you don't need walls, you just need to have pillar spaces so that there's no degradation. So this here, this average degradation is 7%. Uh, probably shouldn't be that. 
probably should be off of that but because of the fact that some of these buildings got copied and pasted in a weird way and, and some some of them are just a little different like no I think that just that one building there just kind of got seven percent something something went wrong inside of it when it got built but I just wanted to address that question because it was it was a good question and the only reason why I don't put the walls is just because it's simple. You can see this guy's gonna leave out this way. He's gonna come in wherever he wants. They, they can get in and out wherever they feel, and they can access things in a much quicker way to where they wanna go. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out for the key at the end, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Say goodbye to Cal, Cal Magnus. Bye, Cal Magnus.